Welcome, trade hackers, to today's update. Today's Tuesday, March 10th. Big swings in the market continue. Had a pretty sizable reversal in a lot of things today. Starting with the S&P up over 4.5%, Dow up over 1,000 points, 4.5%, NASDAQ leading the way higher, up over 5%, and the Russell, the weakest of the crew, up a little over 2%. But the other big massive mover is oil, up 12%. So obviously after the announcement Sunday evening when the markets opened, oil collapsed. At one point it was down over 30%. Uh, Close Monday down about 25, and then it's up 12% today. So as we had talked about with our pro members, being patient with our adjustments here, when you see a huge, massive move like that, you know, sometimes it pays to be patient. Of course, it could have continued lower, so we don't know what's going to happen. But the patience is paying off, a big reversal to the upside today. And so we're still going to be patient with any adjustments there. Gold down 1.5%, bonds, the other big mover after Monday's massive move where bonds reached over 191, which is just a crazy move for bonds, gave back half of those gains in that day, and then it's down another almost 4% today. So same thing here, just being patient with our management of those positions. Natty Gas, another big mover, up 8%. Uh, 6E, the euro, another big reversal. So it it had been on a, a wild ride to the upside and making a big reversal today. So the big moves continue. Don't get lulled to sleep. I don't think that's possible in this market, but I'm going to continue to see some big, wide, volatile moves. So what is our plan going forward? Well, we did adjust some positions today. Did not make any new trades, just trying to kind of let this thing simmer down a bit. But with this big up move, we get a continuation to the upside. We may look to add in uh, to some of our short positions, just to overall create a little bit more short delta in our overall portfolio. And then also, you know, with the with the implied volatility staying crazy high, you know, around the 100 level on the on the indicator, you know, we will be starting to sell some premium again, but we're just being a little bit cautious, keeping our position size super small. We don't want to get too aggressive here in jumping in as as we will continue to see some of these big moves. Let's take a look at what happened in some of the uh, individual stocks that we watch. I mean, everything pretty, pretty green. The bank's up big today. City up over 8%. Let's see what else is moving big as we just kind of scroll down here. Lowe's up over 10%. So the home improvement and the and the financials seeing a lot of movement to the upside. But everything up big. Energy's up big, obviously. Win the casino's back up. up on wind. So seeing some signs of stability. When I see stability, uh, that's a large swing. So anyway, that is what we're up to. Going to start adding in some new ducks, some a little bit of short delta, continue to manage our portfolio mechanically, stick with the mechanics. Don't get too aggressive. Keep your position size small, and we will see you tomorrow.